which is the greatest hindrance or barriers that he does many people to live a purpose-led life? In my experience and purpose coaching experiences and engagement, I've come to discover one major thing among others that could be a hindrance for you to live a purpose-led life. And this is the worries and the cares of life, what we call survival mode. There's no way you can be on survival mode and pursue a divine assignment upon your life concurrently at the same time. If your worries is about what to eat, what to drink, what to wear. And apparently, majority of people, that's what they live for. Jesus in the book of Matthew 6, he cautioned disciples that do not worry what to eat, what to drink, and even what to wear. But guess what? Let's look for a model like Peter. Jesus met Peter in Galilee with his brother Andrew and called him and told him you are going to become fishers of men. And they abandoned their survival because they were fishing to earn a life. They abandoned and followed Jesus. Guess what? Imagine Jesus being your mentor, your disciple, and your coach, like in our times today. And he walked with Peter and other disciples for three good years. Imagine Jesus himself in human form, God in human form, walking with you as a mentor. And what was he trying to do? To be able to focus the disciples on the kingdom assignment and to bring out and try to make sure that they are not preoccupied on survival. Guess what happened? The same Peter at a point, Jesus himself proclaimed to Peter that you are the rock and upon which I'm going to build my church. All that profound prophetic utterance from God himself to Peter. But let's fast track. When Jesus was crucified, guess what happened? Peter went back to fishing. Imagine walking with God, Jesus himself as your mentor, as a coach, reveal the kingdom mystery to them, but to remove the worries and concerns of life, to take heed into the instructions and assignment of life upon them, was the hardest thing that even Jesus himself as a disciple really struggled with. I know that word struggle may not be very placed here because this is God. But then guess what? That's what happens today. But look at Peter when they were filled by the Holy Spirit. He became a worries proof. Now we should say what get worried will keep you worried for life. And my desire for you is that you can be able to build faith and convictions that can be able to start beyond your survival. This is Gabriel Nyamo, your purpose coach. God bless you.